if I had to pick one, I, like, look, I, I'm a naturally attacking player, so I'd probably pick an attacking player as well naturally, and maybe defenders might pick a defensive player or a defensive minded player. But I think if I had to pick one, it'd probably be between maybe maybe Stevie and Joel. Um, I think probably they're just the way when I look at the play and training and, and when to get going, they're just very, very good, like very technical players that can dribble past the player, that can find a pass or that can like um, create a goal for, from nothing really. And in training, you know, they very rarely lose the ball. So I'd probably pick, if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with Stevie. To be honest, I'd probably go with Stevie. <laughs> I would like to have a laugh now in training. I would like to think I'd be up there, but I think I'd be probably between Winnie, maybe Winnie kind of winning goal or Joe Gorman. Um, Winnie always seems to be up to something in, in the dress room when he's doing something or, or having a laugh. And then Joe was, you know, I, I, I'm in the carpool with Joe and yeah. there's always like, there's never a dull moment when we're driving up or back from training uh, to say the least with, with Joe. Like he's a, uh, He's a, he's a great character, really, and, and I, I find him I find him hilarious at times. And you can see it even on on Twitter and stuff like that. Stuff that he does at times, I do think right. I'll give the joke. He can be. I, I'd see his Instagram stories, and you'd be thinking, <laughs> like I saw the other day on the way down to the match. He, I think you were on your phone or something, and he scared you. Just oh, he does that every time, and it gets me like every single time. He does it like every trip, but I'd be like, I'd know, I'd lose concentration for a minute, like, and I'd be on my phone or something. And he'll just like, you'd be going, you could be going like 120 down the motorway, and he'll just put yeah. on the brake. I'll go, I'll leap forward, then he'll just have the video out, and I'll, <laughs> I'll absolutely like shit myself because I'm like, geez, what's going on here? And it's just. <laughs> and Colin, oh, and, Colin Conroy and Jack Brady are in that with you. Do they get that from Joe? Not really, no. He always seems to like pick up me, like, because you see, we meet Colin. See, Jack does be coming and going because he, he lives, he's from Tip and he lives yeah, yeah. with Tip. He's like, he'd stay home. Mm. But, like, so I'd be in the car the most with him. And then Colin, we pick up in Port Leash on the way. Yeah. So, like, he always seems to just catch me, like, when, when, no, the other lads aren't in the car, like, it always seems to be just me. Like. But, but yeah, no, it's, it's fun. It's a good laugh. He loves a good um, Yoda filter on Instagram. Do you ever see that? Yeah, does, yeah. I think that's just because of the color. Like, I think he, he just loves green. Like, he's yeah. pure, just loves the color green. And I think that's why he likes that I filter. Why that is? It's not, no yeah, <laughs> yeah. Waiter, that's that's up for. <laughs> I'm skeptical myself. I don't know. <laughs> and have you gotten a haircut off him yet? He's becoming a. He's recently become a barber, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the Gucci cuts. Um, I haven't made a trip over yet to the Gucci cuts because I don't know. Like, he, yeah, he looks good. Like, he actually looks like he's getting like he's getting the hang of it. Like, it does actually yeah. look like he's good at it. But um, I kind of have just, I suppose, me, me regular barber, and I think I, I'd feel bad if I uh, if I went against him. I know they'd be fuming, like, and they'd know, like, if I went, they got a, a different haircut because I'd come in like a few weeks later and they'd be like, "Where were you? Do I mean, like, where? <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while." So. Yeah, that's why I haven't really got got a cut off him. I can just imagine the kind of Celtic jerseys in, hanging up in his barber shop. I can just picture it now. <laughs> oh, absolutely! Yeah, if he had his own shop, one hundred percent, like there'd be Celtic jerseys hanging up, all sorts, all sorts. Like again, there's a, like this is actually there's a lot of people I'd say that would expect to, to get this one, and I'd say. I'd have to give an honourable mention just to, to Winnie just because like when he's in goal like oh, like when we're practising set pieces or, or corner kicks like I'm nowhere near him like I mean I'm not like if the ball's anywhere near him I'm just staying away like I'm just not going up for that at all um, but then you have Walshy who again someone I wouldn't want the, the cross paths with in, in a 50-50 or Shawnee like I'll tell you like like Walshy I think was I think it was last year he, he broke his jaw yeah, on, sure. on, yeah. And he wanted to stay playing on. Yeah. I think against Wexford, then two weeks ago, he popped a shoulder out and he just yeah. popped it back in to play on. And then at half time, it popped out again. He still wanted to just pop back in and play on. So I probably have to give it to Walsy just for that. But then again, yeah. there's other people as well, like Lee Devitt. Again, I wouldn't want to get in a 50 50 with Lee Devitt. Like in training, I kind of look for whatever bib he picks up. And I'm kind of like, right, I'm going to go on that team for the, for the five sides or whatever it is because. <laughs> There's many 50-50s, but I'd, I'd probably give it to Walsh, yeah, I'd say.
You know, I actually expected this question, right? And I, I said, you know what, I'm going to research this. And I was going to, like, I'll have a look at a, bit, a few Instagrams. Or, 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 like, I'll probably have a look at this one, right? And the reason I do is because a lot of players will probably pick me. Like, there's a lot of staff as well. Like, staff and players might pick me because I rocked up to train, I think it was last week, in a pair of cargo pants. And no one was having it. Like, everyone was, like, I, everyone was giving me stiff. And I was, like... I, I rate myself. Like, I think I think I have a decent fashion sense. I, I think you're, a, you're quite stylish from what I've seen. Like a lot of people would pick me, right? But if I had to pick someone, I'd probably go with Jack Ara, right? And and not being bad because everyone's style is actually similar enough in the team. But I'd go with Jack Ara for like maybe two main reasons. Like one of them is those is that pair of yellow boots he was wearing for I don't know how long with the tongue. They were just. Oh, he had, like, he had to get rid of them. And the only reason he got rid of them is because I think they broke or something. So he got rid of them. And I think one of the matches as well, early on, he was wearing, he came to he came to the match like in like a pair of like boot cut jeans or something. I, I don't know. Like they were just, yeah, I, I, yeah I'd, give it to, I'd give it to Jack Arrow for that one. You know what? There's, there's two people that come to your mind straight away, right? The first one would be probably Jack Brady. Right, I just, but I not even because like not even that like he's a teacher pet in the sense because he he talked to anyone, do you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. And he always, he'd always, he'd always be the last one out of the change room, and he'd always yeah. be chatting to everyone. He talked to the wall. Yeah. But I, I have to give it to the actual teacher's pet is probably Mark Ludden. Yeah, it has to be Mark Ludden. Yeah, I mean, I mean before every training, before every game, you you'll see it yourself if you go a bit earlier. There's always mm. like the scene. Players and, and the managers having the chats and maybe it's just because he's senior player but I think uh, Mark Ludden definitely I'd say teacher's pet um, without doubt I've said Joe Gorman too much right but I have to give him because yeah, his nickname now and I don't know how he got it and I, I, I actually may ask him that but he, ca he called himself the Gucci Mink right Gucci Mink so that's that's pretty hard to beat that one like the Gucci Mink is, it, yeah like that's what he, like that's that's his nickname, so I, I I rate that one. And then we have there's another one then Martin. So does I think he in Polish Martin is his name. Because and I've no like, why maybe it is I, I don't know. I actually don't know. I may I may start tuning in to some of the nicknames, but every Polish Martin and I've no idea why. Like I, I don't know why, but that's that's the two kind of the main nicknames really we have around the squad. Everyone else is fairly like fairly standard stuff. Yeah, really. yeah. Manager. <laughs> I'd probably say Mark Ludden. I'd probably say Mark Ludden. Yeah, yeah. I think Ludz would, would 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 be a good manager. I could see him kind of going into management. Um, I don't know. I just I think a lot of the, I think defensive players in general really mm -hmm. tend to just do well. In management, I don't know why, but I think like defenders or like defensive minded players always seem to do well. And maybe it's just because he's a senior player in the dressing room and you mm. know he would be vocal and stuff like that. But um, even how he talks, like and how he how he communicates with like the younger players and, and, and you know, and the older players and, and everyone else in between. Um, you know, like I've been I think like I myself, I think I've been doing well lately or whatever. Um but Mark Lords like wouldn't really give much of a compliment and for whatever reason he just does not like complimenting me at all but he's given me a few compliments over the last few weeks and um, we just, I just have a laugh with him like whenever he says something like whenever he gives me a compliment because I know if he's giving you a compliment like you're doing well like you know yeah. that kind of way like yeah yeah well so I'd probably say yeah I'd probably say loads that might go into management